Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four String Strum of the channel. It's all about ukuleles. Today we got the big Duke Banjo ukulele out, but you of course can play this song on any ukulele that you've got. Banjo ukulele, regular ukulele, whatever suits your fancy. Alright, let's get into it. All right, this week's tune is I'll Fly Away. It's an old gospel song from back in the 1930s. Lots of fun, simple chords to play, just the three chords. We're going to show you a little instrumental piece as well. All right, let's get into the chords first of all. Here we go. All right, the chords for this beauty are G. Some bright morning when this life is over. Go up to C. I'll fly away back to G. To a home on God's celestial shores, I'll D. Fly away back to G. And then the chorus goes, Oh, I'll fly away, oh, glory back to C. I'll fly away back to G. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll up to D. Fly away back to G. All right, okay, let me show you some strumming now. All right, so we can start off with our basic paintbrush strum. So it's just hitting it with your thumb, brushing it with your fingers. This is the plaid man style right there. Hit with your thumb, brush it with your fingers. Some bright morning when this life is over, I fly away. I've had some people asking me if you can play this on a low G, and you can. The nice thing with the high G is that it kind of gets that droning high sound in the background, uh, and that's what kind of gives it that banjo-y sort of a sound, whether you're playing a banjo ukulele or, or a standard ukulele. So, but you can play it with a low G as well. It just gives you sort of a more of a bassy kind of a sound, more like a uh, Travis-style picking sort of a sound, okay? The other strum that you can do, of course, is you can do your sledgehammer strum. So if you're new here, it's just paintbrush with an extra flick, all right? So it's instead of two parts, paintbrush, it's three parts, sledgehammer. So it's And again, I would, as I always say, I'd mix those up and I'd do paintbrush and sledgehammer and alternate those out so you can start with your paintbrush. Some bright morning when this life is over, I'll switch to paintbrush, or switch, switch to sledgehammer. <laughs> fly away back to paintbrush. To a home on God's celestial shows, I'll fly away. And just throw that sledgehammer in every once in a while just to give it that little uh, mixing of the sounds. All right, now let's take a look at our bluegrass strum. Here we go. All right, so when I play this song, I use um, all three of these strums. I use the paintbrush, I use the sledgehammer, and I also use the uh, bluegrass strum. So bluegrass strum, we're going to review here again. So it's paintbrush is how you start. Paintbrush, and then you do a double strum. And double strum is just down, up, down, up. So you hit it with your thumb, down, up with your finger, down with your finger, and up with your thumb, okay? Double strum, double strum, like that. So you start with your paintbrush, paint, brush, and then you add double strum, double strum and paint, brush, double strum and, okay? And this is what it sounds like. a try just take some time on it don't get in a big rush get that double strum down because that's the tricky part down up down up down up down up down up down up and once you get the double strum down then put it together with your with your your paintbrush and that I also call it a compound strum because it's those two parts that two double strum kind of a thing with the paintbrush 
and the double strum. All right, give that a try. Now let's go through some other little techniques that can help you to really pull the sound out. Okay, here we go. All right, so let me just show you um, a basic version of the song with a couple of little extra tips and techniques that you can throw in here. So one of them right off the bat is um, some hammer-ons, okay? So without going too crazy with your, you know, well, picking out a whole chord melody and doing any kind of fancy picking here, just some extra. So all I'm doing is I'm just lifting and dropping my second finger here, okay? There's no special time you have to do it. Whenever you feel like, just try it. C now and do the same thing. So you're going to add your second finger at the third fret on the second string, okay? When I... Okay, so you can hear how that starts to add that nice little ringing banjo-y kind of sound. And again, you don't have to do this on a banjo ukulele. You can do it on a regular ukulele and it'll give you that same sort of a vibe, same kind of a ringing um, old time sort of a sound, okay? So that's hint number one. Now you play that. Oh, morning, when this life is See that fanciness? All you're doing here is you're taking your D chord and just hammer on your pinky finger at the fourth fret on the fourth string. And again, you can hammer your first finger when you're playing the G, or you can hammer your second finger when you're playing the G. Play around with it, and again, that'll help to pull out that old time kind of bluegrassy sort of vibe to it, okay? Now, let's get into some more advanced stuff. All right, so let's take it up a little bit of a notch here. And folks, if you're not here yet as far as your, your playing ability, don't get frustrated. Don't feel like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get this. You're gonna get this. Take your time though, right? The fastest route is just to slow down a little bit because what happens is people get over anxious and they think, you know, here's a 15 minute video. I should be able to get this in 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Chances are you might not. Okay, this might take you a week just to get one of these techniques down. But stick with this because in a, in a week, in two weeks, you are going to be able to get this. Okay, it's like the old saying, you are going to learn it all. You might just not learn it all today. All right, okay. Let me play this next part through. This is um, a little bit of a chord melody, kind of an instrumental thing here. So here's what I do. Let me play it through for you. So this is starting to really pull the melody of the song out now. This is a more advanced thing. So this is not easy, if I'm being honest, okay? So if you've got your bluegrass strum down, okay? So, or even you're just your sledgehammer. What I'm doing here, you notice we play, hit the top string with your thumb, you brush it, you bring your thumb back up. That's your paintbrush and sledgehammer kind of strumming. What I'm doing is I'm strumming down Here's the notes. Some bright morning. So it just goes from the first string to the second string, third string, second string, back to the first string. Then I lift my finger up, drop it down. Then I put my pinky finger here on the first string at the third fret. Lift it. Second string. 
again. Okay, now the tricky part is keeping the strum going while you're hitting those notes. So this is where that bluegrass strum thing comes in, right? Or even your sledgehammer or paintbrush. It's that sort of root of your thumb, where your thumb goes, okay? So it's so bright. I'm hitting with my thumb here. And then I do a paint, uh, sorry, a sledgehammer. So you gotta hit with your thumb, do a strum, hit with your thumb the next string, do a strum, hit with your thumb the next string, do a strum. So this one's a little bit trickier, okay? One more time through, here I'll show you again. Again. So this takes a little bit of practice. Once you get it though, it does sound pretty cool, I think, right? So one more time through. So let's start here. Start by a strum. So, so that's the note you're shooting for. So you kind of strum down towards the bottom to get that first note there on your first string. Second string, now third string. Strum, second string. Then you want your first string again. So you're strumming a little bit more like the bottom three strings. Don't worry about getting the top one. Then you go up to your C. And then you hammer on here with your second finger. Then you hammer on at the fifth fret on the second string. Lift it again. So you're back to the second um, finger here. Back to your G. Again. So those are just down, 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 down. Okay, and then you go up to your uh, G, uh, sorry, your D. Just real quick, hammer on at the fourth fret on your fourth string. All right, let me play it through once more for you, all the way, non-stop. Okay, it's just hammer-ons, lifting your fingers, dropping them down. This hand, your right hand, is what's going to get a workout today, though, okay? So if you need to look down and strum. Take your time. Play it slowly through first, and then gradually build up your speed. All right, let's play the tune through. Here we go. In the morning, when 
folks that's a fun song play around with it ukulele of the day again is a duke 10 this is the new version 3 this one just came out beautiful instrument 10 inch head on these things come with a beautiful case etc i'll put a uh, an end card here to show you the review that i just recently did on this but they are really well set up pick up the whole deal here open back nice woodsy sound if you are interested in one of these Duke has provided a really nice package. They've put together a code. It's in the description down below. You can just click on that. It'll take you right to the Duke Banjo Ukulele website. And as a friend of the Four String Strummers, you will get a discount and uh, free international shipping. And also, you get three free online live one-on-one -on -one lessons with me to help you out with your plaid man style strumming that we do here. All right, folks, any questions at all, drop it down into the comments section. I'm always more than happy to help you out. And until we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Maybe with one of these videos right over here. Bye for now.